throw hands. Thank you, A team. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a Rohan's Corner. And this week, I am talking about transformers retailers in the uk and the reason why i've decided to talk about this topic today is because a few years ago we had limited choices about where we could buy our transformers we had some bricks and mortar stores like toys r us and smiths and toy master and whoever else you could find them from maybe some of the supermarkets in those days asda and tesco's and so on and so forth and then all of a sudden there was this resurgence of the uh, online market where we had Kapow and In Demand serving us for five, ten years, maybe longer, and a few other niche players in the market who were starting to come up and people like Smiths starting to get their online presence available, uh, the entertainer as well. And um, over the last sort of three or four years, I've noticed, I'm sure you've all noticed, a massive surge in huge numbers of online retailers now offering transformers to everyone in the UK with the ability to post them out, sometimes free of charge over certain values and sometimes with a small shipping fee. And this has brought about a huge range of smaller kind of I don't want to call them mum and pop stores, but they are to an extent. Um, smaller toy stores or toy specialists that we used to see back in the day when we were going out to our local BTs or down the high street to buy our Transformers from Woolworths. And, um, you know, although those retailers actually did a lot more than just Transformers or just toys sometimes, like Woolworths, there were specific, like, dedicated ranges along those uh, retailers where you could go and buy those bits and pieces from. And the same was true of Toys R Us, obviously, being a, a very large toy specialist. Some of these toy specialists are uh, focusing on Transformers or Hasbro brands, and some are focusing on a huge plethora of toy brands. And now I've made a list of what I think is pretty succinct um, Transformers retailers in the UK, and I've got about 31 UK-based retailers. That's A lot of those have popped up in the last one or two years, especially with the pandemic and everything else, forcing more and more sales online. It means that we've had this plethora of uh, opportunity to purchase from. Back in the day I was buying from In Demand and Kapow sort of uh, almost 10 years ago up until about 2014, 2015 and then I started to move across to people like eBay and people like Smiths and Toys R Us I used to purchase from when I could get to the store but that wasn't that often. And so in today's day and age, probably in the last four or five years, I started to transition to buying primarily online. And I'm sure all of you have all been buying online for the last year at least. Now, some of these uh, retailers, I'm going to put up a spreadsheet so you can all see because I love a spreadsheet. Those of you who know me will have seen I make these all the time. And uh, I've done one recently uh, comparing all the prices for all the various different smaller retailers uh, for the New Kingdom upcoming pre-orders, the Ark, Galvatron, Rodimus, Trax, those sorts of things, and uh, doing a comparison of all their pricing so I can see who I'm going to buy from and split the orders into small orders so that I can ensure that shipping takes place as quickly as possible and that my orders aren't being delayed because of large orders, which is what I've had with uh, with my first Kingdom and Studio Series wave of toys, which I still haven't got yet, but they should be coming within the next month or so. So, I think my list is relatively succinct. Are there any retailers on my list that you think are missing that you should be thinking I should be adding? And maybe we should have some sort of repository, maybe on TFUK or somewhere else where we can all share this information and we can all be in the know-how of where the best prices are, where the best retailers are, who's offering the best loyalty scheme and who's offering the first offer of uh, products in the market. And this is especially important now with the launch of Hasbro Pulse UK because while they are on my list if you look at the pricing you'll see that they are always right at the top end with RRP along with Zavi because they tend to put the, the highest price mark up on their products and even retailers like Smith and The Entertainer tend to be better priced than them 
uh, from a mass retailer perspective. And then obviously the smaller retailers, the more niche players, the more sort of uh, dedicated uh, retailers who are going to give you a sort of more customer service focused kind of service they are usually at the at the low end of the price points and they're looking to gain your customer and, and bring on more customers into their market share and so again i'm coming back to this point that i i tend to be loyal for a couple of years to a particular small retailer i was with games and cards for a few years I've moved over to Shandrews. I'm now purchasing a bit from uh, Collectible Kingdoms, from Collector's Den, from Robot Recruits, those sorts of people. And so there's a huge list on there of companies which I haven't used yet, so I can't you know, guarantee them all. But at the same time, many people in the uh, fandom have used them. And uh, yeah, it's worthwhile checking out. So let us know, do you use any of these retailers? Are there any missing? What are your thoughts on, on retail? Are you sticking with your power and in demand? Are you still buying from the large bricks and mortar stores or going for the larger retailers like online, like Amazon? What is your method of purchase? Anyway, for another week, I've been Rohan on Rohan's Corner. Catch you next week, back to the studio. Hey boys, we've been rumbled. Well, let's bounce. <laughs>